will not call this one insane, but from the look of things on the ground, the kind of rainfall that is being experienced right over there, which is about uh, five kilometers from here, is astronomical rainfall, so much of a downpour, and with no time, uh, this one seems a little bit closer. In the next maybe 10 minutes of, or more or less, that storm will have right here. And my first video, which is about two days ago, it rained and there was a lot of scorching sun. A lot of scorching sun. The evaporation took place very first time and I think maybe that added humidity in the atmosphere. And that's the reason we are kind of experiencing storm rains every now and then. Now, it's not much more of storm rain, but uh, the rainfall is not being predictable. Right now, it's about to rain heavily, and the rain is so much great than it has ever been experienced before. The last time this ever experienced such kind of a rainfall, it's about 15, uh, not 15 actually, but it's about 20 years ago when uh, the climate a little bit changed and uh, there was a lot of ground cover a lot of trees a lot of great forests around this place but due to in increasement in agricultural activities and population uh, a lot of land has been cleared for agricultural purposes and this is incredible because right down here 20 years after while people are still harvesting, the rains are kind of entering the process. So over the past two weeks, there was a lot of space, a lot of time that people had been given to remove their already uh, matured foods from the chambers. Luckily, I did my best and cleared off my chambers. And right now, people are rushing again as time, trying to cover up which may be a little bit harder for them but the reality of this story is that climate change as well and right now i cannot draw the line and say this is climate change that has caused all of this because it's not to the worst actually people have harvested enormously this time around even those who rushed on time those who were planted after they are still going to have it because right now where I'm standing, the land is wet. It's quite with moisture. And it's a good thing. But no one knows up to when will this continue. We've been having temperature and rainfall fluctuations over the past few years. Whenever it rains big March, you find like the preceding rain season cuts halfway or does it. You also find like what you could plant, you end up getting nothing but just a few stuff cut to put in your cattle or livestock. But right now, I can see it's a change for the, for the bad. And let's just hold on to that because that's where I can draw the line. This is Prince Bay, a science student, not science, but it's very bad. I'm an environmental science student at the University. And this is Bay TV. Don't watch it. I don't subscribe to the channel for this bad news.